Hello and welcome to Green Pass Gaming. Today I thought I'd put together a little how-to video on how to stream from your Xbox to your mobile phone. Um, this isn't um, just on Android, thankfully, so this is on iOS devices as well. There are a few things that you're going to need to know about it, but um, yeah, it really does work. You can stream everything from your Xbox One to your mobile device. Um, all games that you've got, and basically your mobile device just becomes a screen for your Xbox One. There are a few caveats. Uh, you do need to be on the same Wi-Fi network, so it's not the sort of thing you can set up at home and then on your sort of way to work, on your commute, you can you can play via mobile data on your mobile phone. It doesn't quite work like that. So you do need to be on the same Wi-Fi connection. Um, and applications for this, I'm guessing if you've only got one TV uh, and that TV is being used for something else, then you're able to actually still continue to game on your Xbox uh, using your mobile phone. You will need a Bluetooth device to connect to your mobile phone um, and I do have a video on how to set that up and I'll leave a link for that in the description below. Um, there are a couple of other things as well. You will need to make sure that you've got your Xbox updated to the very latest version of operating system and also you need to make sure you've got the latest version of the um, mobile phone app. Uh, on your phone. So I will show you how to do both of those and we'll start with the Xbox because it's probably the easiest and I will now f uh, flick over to the Xbox and we will take things from there. So here we are on the Xbox and we just need to go to settings and we just need to make sure it's got the latest version of system software. So we need to go down to system to updates and if we just click on there it will check and on the very top as you can see it's grayed out on my no console update available so that means I've got the latest version um, if you don't have the latest version I would do suggest that you upgrade to that um, once you have I will come out of there and then we need to go to devices and connections down to remote features and we click on there and we need to make sure enable remote features is ticked so we need a tick in that box and if we go over to Xbox app preferences we need to make sure allow play to streaming and allow game streaming to other devices is both ticked once they are then we are good to go with the Xbox app and ready to stream so we'll go over to the phone and then show you how to do that bit Here we are on my mobile device and we are going to download the Xbox app on there so we can obviously use the streaming. Now please bear in mind this is obviously Android, I'm running this on a Galaxy S9 Plus. Um, if you're running iOS then you are going to obviously have to convert what I do into the uh, iOS side of things. It's also probably worth trying to connect a Bluetooth controller before doing this bit as well. Now I have uh, created a video on how to do that for Android devices and we'll leave that in the description below. I'll leave a link for that. Um, so without further ado, for me, I personally go to the Play Store and I'm going to, in the search tab, search Microsoft and then you will see all of the Microsoft apps pop up. Now, if you already had the Xbox app installed, I would strongly suggest you uninstall that app and reinstall the new one because my existing Xbox app didn't automatically update and it wasn't until I uninstalled it and reinstalled this new one that all of the added functionality popped up. So here we are, you can see it's called Xbox and it's got a slightly different um, icon from the original Xbox app. So I'm gonna click on there, click install, and that's going to download and install. I think it's roughly 42 megabytes, so it shouldn't take too long depending on your connection speed. So that's coming over as we speak, and that's just going to install. Now you will, when you fire this up for the first time, need to obviously input your account details. And I do also have my consoles set up on this already. So if you have a brand new console, and this will work with the Series X and Series S when they're launched in November, um, you will obviously need to set these up as new consoles. But if you have an existing console, there is a setup process for that, but unfortunately I'm not going to be able to show you. So here I'm going to click Open, and it's going to open the app, and you see the nice new little Xbox logo pop up, hopefully. There it is. And the first thing it's going to ask me to do is to sign in. So I'm going to click Sign In. And then I'm just going to sign in with my credentials, uh, which it's already remembered. 
So for me, I'll just click continue and then we can carry on from there. So I should get a welcome screen, welcome back, and I'm just going to click let's play and it will take me through to the next one. Okay, let's get me set up. So I'm gonna click next. I don't want to link any accounts or certainly not now. So I'm just gonna click the not now button. Now I don't need to set up a console because as I've said, mine are already set up. If you did need to set up a console and you've never done this before, you would need to click set up a console. But for me, I'm just gonna click nope. There is a help file in, in the app itself if you're struggling on how to connect your uh, Xbox console to the app. Um, and there we go. That's the app. So um, there are two ways to connect. As you can see in the top right corner next to the notification uh, bell icon, there is a little connect button. If I just quickly press that, um, my Xbox One console is already there and it can see that. So um, I, have a, I can either press remote play on this device and it will connect straight away or if I wanted to set up a new console or a different console, I can obviously do that below. So I'm gonna click remote play on this device and that should start to connect to my Xbox One device. Now you see a little loading screen. Now please don't get this confused with the cloud gaming app. Um, this is completely different. This is streaming directly from my Xbox and I will be able to play every single game that I've got installed on my Xbox via the phone. Now I don't currently have a Bluetooth controller set up at the moment. That's why I suggested probably before you started doing this that you did yours, but I'm just gonna click connect anyway. And there we are, that's my Xbox. And as you can see, um, it's all exactly as you should expect it on a TV screen. Um, as I say, you know, the functionality for this um, is probably, like I say, if you've got one TV and someone's busy watching that TV and you wanted to carry on um, playing your games, then this is a great way of being able to do that. Um, as you can see, it all works pretty well. I am going to do another review video on just how well this works and playing games. So keep your eye open for that. Um, but as far as that goes, yeah, that's that's my um, Xbox One on my mobile phone. It works pretty well. Um, any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I will endeavor to do my best to answer them. Unfortunately, like I say, I don't have an iOS device that I can test this on. Um, and there may be some confusion uh, around some of the setup uh, in logging into your console and getting that talk into the app. Again, unfortunately, I've not had to do that bit because I'd already had the um, app set up. But, um, well, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully that's been of some use to you. Um, like I say, keep your eye open for the review video. Hit the like, share and subscribe button if you've liked what you've seen. And we'll go from there. Thank you very much.